Let's solve some of the questions from folk literature. Now, folk literature is an interesting topic. A uh, lot of students who are appearing for folk literature do not find enough quality material. So we do have the complete preparation material available on the website, uh, which is uh, which we would share in a while. But uh, here are some of the answers which have been prepared by a net faculty for folk literature. So uh, let's discuss some of these questions which were asked in 2023. So the first question is from which among the following is states that Sohari cover painting Hail which recently got a GI tag. Now note that this is a question which is asked from the contemporary section. Now this is a painting from Jharkhand. It is known for its traditional and mural arts. Really really important. Uh, the local available soils of different color in Hazaribagh region of Jharkhand is used to create these kind of paintings and therefore it depicts the rich and strong cultural heritage of the region. So GI tag being given in the recent is really important. The next is when did the literary study of folklore begin at Harvard University? So that was in 1856. Really, really important. And this was at the time Francis James Child, who was an English professor of literature, started collecting the data, studying the British ballads, and then he talked about the folklores and then folklore became a literary study topic at Harvard University. So these kind of questions are really interesting. Uh, the first professor who was actually taking the folklore studies was Kittredge uh, again at the Harvard University. The next is who collected French Canadian folklores to study the North American ethnic traditions. So the correct answer is Maurice Barber and uh, the, he was actually interested in two things. One was the French Canadians and other were the indigenous people of North America, the Red Indians as we say. So uh, he started collecting uh, the data, interviewing the people. He traveled to the parts of Quebec, Canada, parts of interiors of North America and being Based on those uh, data that he collected, he actually came up some uh, with some of the important works. One was the folk tale, which was known as the White Cano. The other was the song, which was known as Ala Claire Fountain. So those were some of the important works that were contributed by Morius. Aculturation, very, very important. So aculturation is actually uh, a process of cultural change that happens when two or more cultures come in contact. So let's say this is region A, this is region B, both of them have different culture. When they come together, what would happen? So this would be a extremely dynamic situation because the things that are followed in that culture are not common in this culture. But ultimately, this would lead to a highly creative system because both the things would try to adopt something or the other and this actually comes with contact, it comes with relative power and the individual characteristics of both the groups. The next is the first course in material culture at Indiana University in 1961 was introduced by Warren Roberts. So that is again an important course because Warren Roberts was an American archaeologist and an anthropologist and he was considered as the founder of field material for material culture and at Indiana University he was into the idea of studying the material objects like weapons, tools of the various arts and cultures and it was really really important. So two similar kind of questions, one from Harvard, one from Indiana uh, that we have picked up here. Now, if you want to practice more, uh, go on to Doorstrip Tutor, scroll down to the list of subjects and here you would see folk literature as one of the subjects. You can click on view programs and you would have the complete list of the content which would be available. In case you have any questions or queries, feel free to connect back to us. Thanks for joining in today.